All righty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the shoe tour. Let's hop right in. Now we're going to do some platforms and flatforms, dudes. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so my first pair is clearly pretty rock and roll. <laughs> um, this is a boot by Current Mood with an upside down cross. Um, you'll notice there is going to be a trend throughout all of these shoes that I am vertically challenged. So all of my shoes are going to be either platforms or have a crazy heel on them. I do have some flats and some boots, but it's very few and far between. Um, as you can see, the cross is upside down because I am anti-religion. And you will notice a trend with the big chunky zipper in my life. Um, I'm a huge fan of the chunky zipper. So, uh, it looks like they'd be hard to walk in, but they're really not. They're like super steady because the heel is wide. And uh, so you can see how wide the heel is. Right, as you can see, that's a good two inches wide. So he's nice and sturdy. But if you got weak ankles, I don't suggest it. Alright, moving on to our next pair. Alright, so this is a collaboration um, with Soulstruck and Black Milk. Um, if you've heard of Black Milk leggings, these are for those. So this is a platform tennis shoe um, that Black Milk did with Soulstruck. And I absolutely love them because I have the leggings that match them. And they don't have laces, they just have these clips that clip, so they're really comfortable. As you can see, it's just the four clips that keep it on, but it's super padded. It's about a two inch platform. 90% of everything I own, um, you can get on dollskill.com. So, there's that. <laughs> Alrighty, shoe number three. Shoe number three is a classic black milk staple. This is actually a Jeffrey Campbell shoe. It's called the Back Off Wedge. Um, and literally in every single, you know, picture they have on the Black Milk website of their leggings, uh, the girl is wearing these shoes. So that's why they became famous is because of Black Milk. And they have a hidden platform. So the platform itself on the toe is probably about an inch and the back is probably about five. And you keep them loose like that. You don't tie them or make them tight. You got to make sure they're baggy on the top. They have a rounded toe. A little close up of the leather inside says Jeffrey Campbell, Jeffrey Campbell Havana, like all the Jeffrey Campbell shoes, has a rounded toe. By the way, I stopped the autofocus in a minute so it stops doing that. My bad on the autofocus. All right, these guys are actually <laughs> my eyeball shoes, uh, they're the same kind of platform as the previous ones, but these are by Iron Fist. Um, the inside leopard print, the outside is eyeballs. They got about a one inch platform in the front and about a four inch platform in the back. So they're a little shorter than the other ones. They're super comfortable though. And they're much more ankle than the other ones. Those go up almost mid calf and these are like super ankle. It's just got two little laces. Let me tie in a cute little bow. Here's a little close-up of the eyeball. Action. And my turntable's not automated. <laughs> I'm the one moving the turntable, so sorry about that if it's jerky. Alright, these are some 70s classics. These are from a brand called Halston. Um, if you know anything about 70s fashion, Halston was super big in the 70s. These are actually current. They're from the 2000s, but when I saw them, I got them in Atlanta, and when I saw them, I had to have them. They're so cute and way comfortable. Um, if you saw me in the club at around 2008, then I was wearing these bad boys, I guarantee you. 
because they were my club staples because they're so comfortable. Um, it's about a two inch platform in the front and about a six inch platform in the back. And unbelievably, they are sturdy and steady and I could walk on them completely smashed. <laughs> the little ankle strap keeps them on and they are really, really, really good for looking cute and, uh, and being short. <laughs> All right, now these guys, I have a hilarious story. I found these in a closing magic shop in New Orleans. <laughs> I'm assuming they used to be clown shoes. Um, either way, I bought them for $4 and I loved the shit out of them. I wore them probably for two months straight and then I never put them on again for some reason. I, they're the cutest shoes. I mean, they need some, they deserve a little shout out. They're really comfortable. Classic uh, tennis shoe style platform with a three inch platform. And they're brandless, they have no brand, because they came from that clown shop. Alrighty, and these are from Shunami, where I used to work. Um, these, little, these little guys are so cute. Um, they are a glitter platform tennis shoe. Um, they are made to look like a tennis shoe, but they are not tennis shoes. <laughs> Um, they're from an off-brand, but they're really cute and comfortable, and I loved them to pieces. I, I wish I had more things to wear with these, because I really like them. I've worn them probably six times in my life. And they just lace up like a normal tennis shoe. And they're less heavy than usual platform tennis shoes. They're pretty light with a rounded toe. All right, now these are the classic ones you see all over the internet. They're by a brand called YRU and these are the Black Stacks and they are a tennis shoe style. Um, and they are about a four to four and a half inch platform. And as you can see, I've worn these a shitload of times. They've seen some love. <laughs> and they have a rounded toe. They're both uh, regular leather and then suede. Super comfy. Huge stack. <laughs> All right, these bad boys are also by YRU. They are their alien collection, so there's gonna be a little alien in the back. Um, and I'm not that crazy, you know, per se about gold, but when I saw these, these things, I was like, oh my God, they're ridiculous, I gotta have them. So they're fun with like an all black outfit. Let them be the, the staple standout piece because honey, they are loud and large and in charge. <laughs> They also have about a four and a half inch platform. Uh, they are in tennis shoe style and comfortable as can be. Lace up like normal, about a four and a half inch wedge, as you see by my, by my hand there. And it has a rounded toe. Super padded inside, way comfortable. A lot of these shoes are gonna look a lot less comfortable than they actually are. They're super comfy or I wouldn't have bought them. Okay, another YRU platform tennis shoe. This is their leopard print in the same exact style of the tennis shoe with a little lace up top. Um, same thing, so four and a half inch platform. As you can see, these have been worn a hell of times. I love these things. Look super cute with a pair of leggings and a big baggy top. Um, I love the pink stitching and the pink laces. Super cute. also um, are really padded on the inside super comfortable they have a rounded toe okay these guys are huge these are my Franken sandals <laughs> um, they are by a brand called current mood 
Um, they have these giant YKK zippers that go up the back of the heel. Um, and the front looks kind of flat because all you see is the lace part. The lace part goes up your foot and up your ankle and you're meant to wrap it around the ankle. So the lacing is extremely heavy, but it looks really good when it's on your foot. I've had these things for a hot ass minute and I wore them every day at work like when I was in New Orleans last year. They're so comfortable. Absolutely love them. They're almost a five inch platform. They're really, really tall. And they're pretty, pretty heavy, um, but they're not heavy to an uncomfortable degree. Um, I really like them. And here we are back with some Jeffrey Campbell platforms. Um, these guys are some, like a spin on the old school creeper. Um, and by old school creeper, I mean it is a creeper with a pointy toe. Um, so it has about a maybe a three inch platform it's got spikes all over it and they're clear um, I liked them because you could you know you could wear different socks and with whatever socks you wear is whatever color they are so it's pretty fun and of course I love Jeffrey Campbell if you wanted to you could probably wear them without socks but I wouldn't suggest it I mean they get all foggy and gross <laughs> probably run a blister because like they're plastic so I don't suggest it <laughs> All right, and these guys are the UNIF Rock and Roll Sandal. Um, and it has like a bondage hook in the front, little tiny fat YKK zipper on the side. They just slide on and you just buckle them on the ankle and zip that little tiny piece up. They're really comfortable. Um, I was worried that because there's so little around your foot that it was gonna be one of those shoes that would be easy to like slip to the side and fall over. But nah, they stay nice and secure. UNIF is a fantastic brand. I suggest that uh, you look them up if you've never heard of them. They got a hysterical t shirt line. I love a big fat YKK zipper. Oh, God. My weakness. <laughs> And these guys are by a brand called Ego and Greed. Um, they are fantastic. They're super cute. Um, they are really, really thick soles. Like, that's a good four inch platform. But they are super secure, as you can see. They are um, pegged in there with some big upholstery pegs. Um, they're really, really cute on. I don't really have many fun colors of shoes because, you know, forever I worked in cosmetics and that meant you had to wear all black. So if I wanted to wear my shoes at work, you had to they had to be black. But these ones I couldn't pass up. They're so cute and they're like a fun electric blue. Has a little strap that goes behind the heel and around your ankle. And they're super cute. Way comfy. Alrighty, these bad boys are also by Current Mood. And they are the most ridiculous sandals I have. <laughs> They're about a four inch platform, covered in studs. The buckles do function, so if you want, you can unbuckle them at the buckle part or you can unzip the back with the giant fat YKK zipper. Um, I've always just done the back of the zipper. Um, as you can see by the glue on the back of the heel, because I've worn them so many damn times, um, I've had to re-glue the back of the shoe. Um, that's just me doing it. I'm sure you could take them to a cobbler and get it done the right way, but I've just, I just hot glued it. I didn't give a shit, it, it totally worked. They've got a big sole. They're pretty heavy. Um, anything by Current Mood is usually pretty heavy. I do prefer a lighter shoe, but I mean, what can you do? They're super cute, so you do, you do with what you can. Alrighty, and these guys are some more Jeffrey Campbells. Uh, this is a four to five inch wedge um they are like an iridescent color changing fun bottom and the top is suede and of course the buckles do function um sometimes i'll do two shoes you know to show you guys sometimes it was just easier to do the one because these suckers are so clanky i was like i'm just gonna do the one um the belt or the buckle part up at the top like they have like little ends that look like belts they're, they're super cute adorable.
going to show you a better shot of the buckle. It's the inside. And of course, all Jeffrey Campbell's are all leather on the inside, so they're super comfy. And a rounded toe. All right, and these guys are killer. This is the UNIF Glitter Jelly Wedge. Um, you guys remember jellies, right? Jellies, okay, I'm a, I'm a child of the 80s and 90s. So, uh, honey, jellies were a staple in my childhood. So when I saw UNF had made platform jellies, I was like, holy shit, I gotta have them. Um, they come in many different colors, but I chose to get the clear so that way they'd go with everything I owned. And they're super cute. Really fucking tall though. I'd say the back is probably five to five and a half inches. I would have tried these on and modeled them for you guys, but holy shit, that would have made this video way too fucking long. <laughs> So, the Lazy Susan it is. <laughs> Alright, and these boots are also UNIF. Um, they are also that like signature, iridescent, fun coloring with a giant YKK zipper in the back. For a very long time, I wrapped the laces around the ankle part and tied them in the front, and that caused a bit of damage uh, around the ankle part, as you guys can see, um, like where the, zip where the zipper stops right there. But, yeah, right there. But um, I decided I was going to ahead stop doing that because I wanted to prolong the life of this boot because they are killer. So I just started double, you know, double bowing them in the front. And these suckers are super comfy. I've worn them to work a million times. They come with those like color changing laces. And they lace up the first half and then they uh, brad up the second half. But I really never use any of that. I just use the zipper. Giants that were so rad. Now that's a good three inch platform with a rounded toe. And these guys are so killer. They are UNIF and they look like your classic, like David Bowie 70s, like 60s platform um they are beat the fuck up but that is on purpose because i wanted them to look as vintage as possible um they are true to vintage style so they are a uh, brad lace all the way up a giant industrial brads um the lace the zipper on the inside is a big giant fat ykk zipper like i love the heels are giant fat squares just like they would be in the 70s they are glam rock as fuck and i absolutely love them um the laces that came with them were a black pair and these white and the white pair. Um, I prefer the white pair because it's a nice contrast, and they have a rounded toe. And these UNIF bad boys are just as killer. Only they are a camel hair and they are leopard prints. So they are by UNIF as well in the same retro style of this 70s glam rock revival action. Only these are actually hair. They're like real hair. Um, you can't really tell. I try to kind of like let you see and of course the giant YKK zipper is my my go-to. Um, and it came with only that color of laces. It came with the black laces with the giant brads. That thick heel rules because man it is sturdy as can be. And that style of shoe, of course, came in a million different colors, but it always looks exactly the same with the rounded toe and the brads. Only these ones are camel hair. I'm trying to show you that they're hair, but you can't really tell. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. These guys are by killer, uh, by current mood. They are so, so, so awesome. I absolutely love these guys. They are a platform boot that zips up the front and zips on the side. They have a giant pentagram detail on the front zipper, and those suckers are sturdy. Like, the zipper itself and the pull are completely sturdy, so you can pull 
your boot on with the pentagram and you can undo the zipper with the pentagram without it breaking. I love these things. I looked for them so long because they, they had sold out before I had money to buy them and then I had to go on Poshmark and try to find these things. So they're actually a half size too small for me but I wear them anyway because they're so badass. I just can't wear them for long durations like I couldn't wear them for an eight hour shift or anything but I can wear them for a night out. That pentagram's so fun. About a three inch uh, platform. The rounded toe. Alright, we are moving on to boots. Boots is our next feature. Starting off with some rock and roll supreme boots. These suckers are vintage from the 80s and completely fucking badass. I went ahead and put a glitter dust, um, like a spray paint glitter on them and then added some really bad ass boot wraps like those like um, holster wraps right there so killer so everything's vintage everything from the boot itself to the boot the boot jewelry are all all old school and if you've ever met me you know I'm a bitch that loves conchos <laughs> if I can put a concho on it I'm gonna alrighty and these guys are some vintage Durangos these are from the 80s as well um, one of my favorite colors in life is turquoise, and when I saw them, I was like, oh, snap, I gotta have these bad boys. So they are a turquoise alligator, and the upper is basic leather, and they have uh, a heart detail in the front on the toe. Super cute. Alright, now these are my classic old school bike boots, man. These are like biker boots supreme. These are by Fry. Um, these boots are so hardcore. Like if you wrecked on your motorcycle and all of your skin slid off, you would have skin from the calf down because those motherfuckers are so thick. Ain't shit getting through those. Like those are the toughest boots ever. Um, they are a ring, you know, uh, O-ring style. Um, for the clasp and the toe is squared. It's a square toe Some people prefer the round toe. I I'm, I like the square toe better when it comes to the fries. That's the little fry logo Showing the square toe These are super rock and roll. I absolutely love them Alrighty, these little fries are kind of a dressier version of the other than, than the other ones. Um, these have a pointed toe. They are an ankle boot, and they are like a dusty red. Really cute with like a pair of black stretch jeans and like a beat up rocker tee. And they are so comfortable. They better be fucking comfortable for what you pay for fries. <laughs> They got the little logo on the outside there on each on each shoe, of course, on each boot. And they're a short little ankle boot, so you just pull right on. You just fit right on. No struggle to get them on. All right, these guys here are by Vince Camuto. Um, I've had these for quite a while, but they are an oldie but goodie staple in my closet. They've got these really rad little gold plates on the back of the heel that say Vince Camuto. Then they've got an exposed gold zipper and then the gold buckles on the sides. I like to just keep them zipped halfway so that way they're nice and baggy at the top and look look more like casual rock instead of like uptight. <laughs> and these are a rounded toe. Leather's real soft. And those suckers are super comfy. All right, next on the boot list are some new platform Doc Martens. Okay, Doc recently came out with these platforms. 
um, called the Jadon, and these are kind of a take on those. They are platform, but they do have the larger lace brad that comes with satin laces and their glitter. So these are like my fancy platform docks. <laughs> They're super comfy. I hardly ever have a pair of docks that I lace up all the way. I always keep them baggy and just slide them on and off. And the extra platform on the dock gives it a good two inch platform. Much different of a rise than a regular, si a regular, you know, sold Doc Martin. And they're really, really sturdy. All right, these guys are the same style, only they have the smaller lace brad, um, and they are a regular, um, regular slick leather material. So they're black leather, and they have the two-inch platform, and they are called the Doc Martin Jadon. They have an outside zip, so that way you can get them on easier. And I do not lace them up all the way; I just like lace them real loose, so that way I can slide them off and on. These are my favorite favorite shoes. I wear these suckers every day, as you can clearly see by how worn they are. <laughs> And they have the uh, normal little tag there, little Doc Martin Bouncing Soles Airwear Action. And the sole is considerably thicker than a regular Doc Martin sole. Really tall. Otherwise, looks the same. It's just much taller. And these little boots, um, I haven't even worn these boots yet, but I had to buy them because they're ridiculously shiny. <laughs> I was like, uh, chrome boots, yes please. They look like some like James Bond villain girl would wear these, so I had to get them. I got these suckers at Tsunami when I worked there in New Orleans, and I've literally been here, you know, home a year and a half, and I have not, I've not worn them yet. Um, they're super cute. I don't know why I haven't. I've just, you know, haven't worn them. But from what I've tried them on, they're super comfortable, but I have not worn them you know, an actual outing to know if they're comfortable when you wear them or not. But they're ridiculous, so I had to put them in the in the lineup here. <laughs> I was like, chrome boots, you're in. Little pointy toe and like a throwback heel. Little chunky 90s vibe. All right, dudes, we're moving on to flats. So this cute little pair of flats clearly says fuck on them. <laughs> because that's pretty much how I feel about life. Um, they are by YRU. They are a simple velvet flat um, with the gold fuck embellishment uh, with a little patent trim um, and a classic, like, you know, classic style of a slide-on loafer, but they're just velvet and they say fuck on them. <laughs> I'm trying to get a close-up on it, on the, the velvet, but I don't think you can see it. I don't think it's gonna let me. Alrighty, and these guys are by Cape Robin. Um, they are cute little iridescent stone flats. Same uh, moccasin type vibes, only they are backless. They just slide on. Um, they are missing a couple stones, as you can see right there. Uh, but I've had them over 10 years, so the fact that only two stones are missing on them is fucking amazing. They're killer little flats. They're my last uh, shoe of the video. I just wanted to give these a shout out because they are worth it. Um, thanks you guys for checking out my shoe video. I've got tons more crazy shoes, but these are the ones I wanted to fit in this video because they're the most ridiculous. Alrighty, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye!